welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine Dessine. if you're new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's goody we are back with a new youtube video we're back with another maintenance vlog so clearly i'm looking a little <laughs> i'm just looking real regular this honestly i'm from new york we call this we looking real bummy i'd be like uh i'm giving a bum day but i want to get cute i want to dress up i want to go out i want to give looks i want to serve looks i want to feed the world i want to be a doll like i literally just want to feel good so i'm gonna get cute but we're also gonna be doing some much needed maintenance your girls got a list of things to do uh one of those being install some new hair so that brings me to today's sponsor shout out to love me hair for sponsoring today's video today's glow up today's maintenance vlog um i'm gonna be installing a gorgeous wig from love me hair today along with doing my nails you need a fresh set i didn't lost the nail so i look real rough <laughs> we had a wax everywhere <laughs> um and we have to do skincare like i need to do some proper skincare and actually do some extractions i do all of that stuff on my own at home so i figured let's just throw it all into a maintenance vlog for you guys so yeah if you guys are excited for today's video then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications okay and join a try period because we we really be doing a damn thing over here period i love you guys and yeah let's just get right in tow it okay so the first thing on my agenda is actually gonna be to do my nails because every time i look down at my hands them not being done like bothers me <laughs> and when it gets to that point and i need a new set honestly it's because i lost one if this one was still on i probably would wait just a little bit longer just a little but it's it's pretty grown out um I would just wait just a little bit longer but yeah it's, it's honestly it's time for these to go no it's been more than probably two and a half weeks i want to say it's probably been like three weeks so yeah it's time for a new set i am about to set up i set up on my counter here and i just use my little stool so this is the area that i like to work in I feel like I've never shown you guys like the behind the scenes of my nails video nail videos. You guys just get the nail videos. But I think I'm gonna show you guys the behind the scenes this time and less about like actually me doing my nails because you've literally seen me do my nails so many times now that I don't know if you guys still want those kinds of videos, but so we're gonna start with the nails. Let me get my nail stuff. Let me get my nail stuff. Don't judge me, y'all. I don't have like <laughs> a big box or anything i just this is how i keep it it works for me this is all of my stuff um i'm gonna lay a towel out because i don't want to get anything anywhere that might mess it up and i need my light too so that i have better lighting but i'm about to do my nails these are the tips that I'm using. I got these from Amazon. Everything is linked in my Amazon storefront. This is the builder gel that I use. But I have some alcohol. This is my UV lamp. Literally everything I use is like the cheap stuff too. <laughs> like I think this lamp was $20 or $30. Um, my little handheld e-file was $19.99. Literally $20. Bucks. And I love it. I think and then all of the gels and stuff I use I also get from Amazon this is the I wear a mask when I do it because the nail dust literally like I don't feel like you should inhale that so if you guys aren't wearing masks I highly suggest hopefully you are though yeah and then I keep all of the crap in there so let me show you guys before yeah it's giving grown out but I have no lifting on none of my nails and I like to pride myself on that because when your nail starts to lift, that's it hurts. And you can really like bruise your nail bed underneath if you like, if you have lifting or if it breaks or if it cracks or whatever. I don't got nail lifting. I lost this nail because of the gym. And I'm very rough with my hands, but it was in the gym. And thankfully it like cracked, but it was, that nail was so long underneath that it wasn't, it didn't crack like where my nail bed was it cracked a little higher up so but no lifting on the other nails as well so 
so yeah i'm about to do this fill in hopefully i can get this done in like two hours when i don't film and i've only done it once recently no twice when i don't film my nails like me doing the process i move so much quicker than when i'm filming when i'm filming it takes me like four hours but when i'm not filming it takes me like two and now i'm talking too much so yeah let's just get started okay so i'm starting out by laying out my products i usually line them up in the order in which i use them just because it's easier for me to see it visually it's like going through my steps um and this isn't really like a tutorial or anything because i really did just jump around like i jumped through the process but you guys have seen it so many times let me know down below if you guys still want nail videos from me because i can see that they're not as popular as they once were on my channel so i want to do like a little poll like what do you guys think should i continue to do the nail tutorials like on their own on my channel like as separate videos or do you like them worked into a maintenance vlog like this where i kind of do a bunch of different services on myself let me know but your girl's nails are getting long some of these are tips and some of these are my full nail and then i had to glue on two new tips because those nails like they needed it one of them was broken but then the other one i ended up taking off in the process of me buffing everything down and now you see i'm going in with my base coat and i did a nice layer of that and then i'm gonna do my gel and i skipped that part i was watching terry joe um snippets from like her lives <laughs> on tiktok if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about yeah your girl just went for a really simple and natural set i've really been loving the almond shape i'm loving that this is a sharper almond shape for me as well and i opted for no design this week just because i had a design on last time and i kind of wanted just like a really simple set this is probably going to be like my go-to this or like a french but I'm really loving this. I did two layers of this pink gel polish from Amazon. I believe it's seven or eight dollars and it's basically a dupe for um, bubble bath from OPI. Someone had asked me if it was, I had said that I really liked this instead. Aside from it being a dupe and being cheaper, um, it also, I personally feel like it just is a better shade of pink. But it also just like it's cheap <laughs> i don't know like i love inexpensive things that i can like save coin on you know um went into my cuticle oil yeah my nails look so good like literally i did that i snapped but honestly when don't i snap like i think i'm past the point of my nails coming out bad <laughs> period this is years of practice so you know your girl's just proud of herself that's all but yeah these are what my nails look like Alrighty, so i finished my nails i just went with a really simple almond set honestly i'm on a little bit of a time crunch and i want to do my hair like literally i want to wash my hair i want to do my hair so i just decided to keep it simple this time with my nails i really like them though i've really been loving this shape too and i went a little pointier for my almond like my last set was more rounded but this is like sharper and i like the sharper it's giving feline like i like it <laughs> so yeah now i'm about to wax i need to plug in my wax warmer i've got it right here it literally looks a mess but i got this off of amazon for 20 bucks it's gonna be my amazon storefront um but you guys know i like to diy wax at home so i'm gonna be waxing my face my upper lip my brows and i'm gonna do my underarms and then i'm gonna shave in the shower so i'm about to hop in the shower wash my hair shave we can get that out of the way my hair is so dirty and like 
yeah i had a wig on like days ago i took it off so it's still in these braids but like it's the glue in my hairline oh my gosh there's so much product in my hair but like dandruff too my scalp because i've been working out and stuff so you know i sweat and everything okay so i'm about to start my shower And I'll see you guys when I'm done showering. Look at I already started slicking my hair back so I can put this wig on. My wax is melted. Look at how this is what my armpits look like before. So I've been waxing for a really long time, so I don't get like really dark hairs, but this is probably three weeks, two and a half weeks of hair growth so yeah we need to get this situated i have some cornstarch in a little tupperware so under my arm yeah i'm gonna put my music back on but yeah I'm just about to wax my underarms. I'm gonna do my upper lip. Although my lip, I don't, I might just be able to tweeze cause I kinda just tweezed these last week. Okay, so I got my hair and my little ball cap already gelled. I mean, hairsprayed it down. We've got to be. And now I'm about to do some glue. But I want to show you guys the wig that I'm going to be installing from Love Me Hair. So inside of your box, you're going to get your wig in a cute little netted purple bag. And then there's usually a little thingy in here, just paper. Wig caps gonna get some wig caps and there's um a little bag that has love me on it love love me hair affordable luxury wigs and there's usually like stuff in here there's a brush edge brush thing and a satin headband scarf yeah i didn't know if this wig was a closure wig or a frontal it's a closure so i only have to put glue in the middle which i'm actually really happy about because Closure wigs are so much easier to install, which means that I'm gonna be done quicker. And I absolutely love that. I'm not gonna do any customizing to the hairline because it's a closure tube and it's a bob. I just don't feel like it's necessary. I might tweeze the part once it's on my head, but I haven't done anything to this wig. So this is what it looks like straight out the box. It's a nice little blunt bob, very cute middle part closure hd lace um love me hair has some of the best lace i've ever tried on wigs and it's just not going to break the bank so i really love their lace on the inside of the wig you're going to get three combs around the crown around the closure and then you have another comb at the nape of the neck you have an adjustable strap and you have a band that's sewn in already for you which i also love i'm going to spray my lace with a little bit of lace tint first, just so that it really blends in with my bald cap. The lace tint I'm using is from Bold Holes, so the same brand as the Liquid Gold. The lace tint in caramel. Okay. Whenever I wear a bob, I feel so grown. It gives me grown and sexy every single time. Like, it's just something about a bob. My uh, Bold Hold Extreme Cream for dry to normal skin. And I'm gonna do, I think, um, I'll do, I usually do three layers. Part of me wants to just do two. Two 
layers is a nip. Okay, so after I laid the wig down, I'm gonna put my elastic band on so I could melt the lace even more. And I'm doing very little customization to this closure wig because I just wanted it to be something I could put on and go, really. So I'm trying to do the bare minimum. So I did not tweeze this hairline. I knew that I was wearing it in a middle part. So I'm, yeah, that's pretty much it. I am gonna cut it a little just cause I wanted the ends to be a bit more blunt. It was blunt, but like I also wanted it to be a little bit shorter just cause I felt like it was more flattering to my face shape because my face is pretty round so i wasn't really feeling the longer bob but once i cut it i was like oh this this looks good like this quickly became one of my favorites honestly because i love a good bob we love a good bob look at the hair is like so soft so flowy it was really easy to cut also and yeah, I was feeling it. Like after I gave it a little bit more of an angled cut, I was like, yes, this is gonna eat. We love a good bob. You're gonna see the exact moment when I start to feel it too. Watch, y'all gonna see. Cause I actually played too much, but you guys knew this already. <laughs> But also like, can we just give it up for Jasmine's skills? Honestly, I have to, I owe it all to my mom. I was watching this footage back and I literally remember like just at several points throughout my childhood, like sitting and watching my mom in the bathroom, just like do her own hair, perform her own beauty services on herself like cut her own hair dye her own hair she's literally always done things like at home in her bathroom that i'm not even surprised that like that's how i am now like i'm very much a do it myself kind of gal like if i could get it done i'm gonna get it done i feel like if i could like i don't know i just feel like if the next person can do it i can do it too so <laughs> Oh, did you see that? That's when I started feeling it. I'm getting all like caught up in my little sentimental uh, moment and I'm over here <laughs> swinging the bob around. Did you see? No, literally. Yeah. So um, you guys saw me put the got to be hairspray so I could like really stick her down in the front. And now I'm taking my hot comb and I'm pressing this part out because the part was given too much volume. It was given Barbie. You know, like Barbie has like very volumized hair. Like her hair is just big. Yeah, especially by the part. I was like, we gotta press this out. And then I tweezed it a little and it looked even better. And now I'm going back in with my flat iron and I'm just really getting this hair super straight. Although it was already like really straight, but you know, we need perfection. We need absolute perfection. Can you guys see the shine on this hair? This hair is so good. Love Me Hair's wigs are always bomb. Like, I literally never have any complaints. And it's honestly because the quality of the hair is really, really good. Like, when they say affordable luxury, they really mean affordable luxury. So, yeah, I just went ahead and I straightened. Like, look at my cut. Oh, girl. Your girl did that. No mirror behind me, by the way. Like, literally just used the mirror in front of me. And I ate that zone. Period. Y'all know I'm from New York, so I'm gonna add a little, a little one two to the one two. But um taking my bio silk oil and I'm just adding a little bit more shine, although the hair was already giving. Yeah, yeah, it's giving. What's your name? B.O.B. So they calling you Bob. Bet you know I'm known for the Bob. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, that is a bob. That is a bob, ladies and gentlemen. Stop playing with her. Stop playing with her. I was listening to Beyonce, so you know, I was in my bag. Because Beyonce been like that. Renaissance really, yeah. She came and she delivered. But like, I didn't expect anything less. Look at how the concealer just made the part look even better. I was like, oh, that's what was missing? Yeah. Look at that. I know that's raw. That's a vibe, babe. Period. Now let's get into the skincare, honey, okay? Because your girl deserves some much needed self-care, skincare. Just, just loving on myself, you know? So I went and I put my robe on, my very fluffy robe. I got this in Saweetie merch. Um, this robe is bomb. <laughs> Wherever this robe is from, yeah. It, it's like a hotel robe. Like, it's so thick and just comfy. I literally want to sleep in it, but I don't. So I pinned my hair back, and then I'm going and I'm wetting my face with some water. All of the products I use will be linked down below in the description box, but this facial cleanser from Dr. Dennis Grossman is literally one of my favorite face cleansers. It has AHA and VHAs in it, if I'm not mistaken, and it is good for all skin types, but it's just a gel cleanser. I, It's even safe to like put like wash your eye makeup off. I didn't have any makeup on, but I always clean my eye area because, you know, there's dirt and oils all over your face, so... I just want to make sure everywhere is clean and then I pat dry with a clean washcloth. I reserve the white washcloths in my home for the face only so these never get used on any other part of the body which I like. And then I go in with my detox face mask. This was actually my first time using this. I wanted to try a new face mask. I wanted something that would be detoxifying or, um, yeah, that's a word, but I wanted something that would detox my skin, suck any impurities out. And I was reading the box for this face wash and it said, or this face mask, and it said that it did just that. But I did not know that it was an oxy oxygenating face mask and that it was actually going to bubble up. So this is me in pure shock at what's happening because my face started making this really weird like popping sound all over. Like it sounded kind of like Rice Krispie treats. No, it sounded like pop rocks. That's what it sounded, but, but much quieter. And I was like, whoa. And then I went and I washed it off. And this is me being a little too rough wiping it off now that I'm watching the footage back. Um, face is feeling very fresh and very clean though, I will say that. And then I go in with my facial steamer. I got this off Amazon. This is one of my absolute favorite Amazon purchases ever because it just feels so luxurious and it was not even that expensive, but it just makes you feel really good. Like I genuinely feel like I'm taking care of my skin when I use this. So highly recommend a facial steamer if you don't have one. Um, and then I'm going in with this second face mask from Pixie Beauty. This is a milk mask along with some other things in it i don't remember exactly but i just know it's hydrating and it's really good for adding um, moisture and hydration back into the skin and you guys know i have dry skin so i love using this yes i'm double masking we uh, used the cleanser and now we're double masking so yeah and then after having that on my face and steaming with it i like to actually rub it into my skin a little before i wash it off so i feel like whatever is absorbed and melts in melts in and then anything excess is getting washed off when i wash my face which is what i'm doing here and after the double mask my face felt so clean but just so soft i was like genuinely in awe and then i went in and i started to do some extractions i typically have some stuff in my pores around my nose area and i feel like that's from makeup you know you wear makeup and it kind of just goes into the cracks and crevices of your face and these areas are typically where i have larger pores not a ton but some did come out and you don't want to be super rough, but you do want to apply some pressure to get it out. And then I also do a little on my chin as well. Then I go in with my pharmacy, um, 
This is an RHA night toner, so you really should only use this at night, but this is really good for just preventing any future breakouts. And then I go in with my Laneige Cream Skin Toner. Absolutely love this for hydration. And then I'm going in with this Pharmacy Vitamin C Serum. And then next is going to be Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary. I'm loving all of these products. Um, this is the order that I use them in. This routine is not my daily routine. This is my weekly. I only mask probably twice a week, sometimes only once a week. So yeah, this is like a weekly routine for me. But a lot of these products I do use on a daily, but not all of them. And yeah, not all the time. This moisturizer from Dr. Dennis Grossman is their daily moisturizer. Absolutely love the way this smells. It smells like cucumber. It just smells very fresh, and but it's a very soft scent, so it's not overwhelming and doesn't feel like there's a bunch of perfumes or fragrances on your skin, but it just feels very hydrating. And then the last, absolute last step is some SPF. Yes, I wear SPF to bed. I live in a very, very sunny state and I have floor to ceiling windows. I wake up almost every single morning to the sun brightly shining in my face because that's how I like to wake up. So I make sure I wear SPF to bed so that my skin is protected even when I'm sleeping. And also a lot of our phone screens actually emit um, rays onto our skin like from TVs, phones, computers, um, iPads, laptops, all that stuff. So it's still important to wear SPF even if you aren't in direct sun or in a sunny place. You can still get, uh, you know, harmful UV rays or anything through other things as well and if it's cloudy. Um, just to let you know, but then the last, last, last step, <laughs> last, last, <laughs> is this Laneige, uh, what is this, a lip sleeping mask. Absolutely love her. Vanilla, the skin is giving. Are you sorry? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's the skin, period. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this whole video. I know it was super long, but probably really fun to watch. Uh, if you did, let me know down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the tribe. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you on my next upload. Bye!